Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of Optionsource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Well, hi there and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for November 21st, 2011. As always, this is Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net. Let's start off with a look at the weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. It's a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. While the dollar index broke above 78, the 77.78 level should hold as support. However, a break below 77 opens the window for a continuation lower. As long as the 77.78 zone holds, we are targeting 80.81 to the upside. Let's take a look at the daily chart. The daily chart reflects the near-term support found at 78 with an upside tar target for the week sitting at 79. Next up, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Well, the CDD hit 103 and now consolidates within the 102-103 focal zone. A break above 103 will have us targeting uh, more towards the 105 level. However, a break below 102 opens the window for a test of support down at 101. Next up, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen is seen here in the ISEFX options pair value YUK. The YUK found support within the 76 and a half, 77 zone. A break above 77 opens the window for a move towards 78. Let's take a look at the EUI, the US dollar versus the Euro. Well, we can see here that the EU, EUI sits within the upper range of our 73, 74 focal zone. This level was identified as a near-term resistance and a break above is likely to push towards 76. However, a break back below 73 is likely to slip down towards 71. Next up, the US dollar versus the British pound is seen here in the BPX. The BPX hit our 63, 63 and a half resistance level and closed Friday within this zone. A break above 63 and a half is likely to yield a continuation towards 65 a break below 63 is likely to retest support down at 62. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar versus the Australian dollar as seen here in the IFE FX options pair value AUX. Well, the AUX continued higher last week, hitting our 100 target. Now, this level should act as a resistance zone and a pullback could slip down towards a test of 98. A break above 100, however, opens the window for a move towards 103. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index held the 77 support last week and continued higher. 78 becomes the new near-term support, and although we still have to respect the influence of the European debt crisis, the trend for the U.S. dollar appears to be up. The CDD continued to push higher. We are open to do a possible short-term pullback. However, a break above 103 should signal a continuation to our 105 target. The YUK held support at 76.5 and appears as though it is lining up for a bounce higher, which will have us targeting 77.5, 78. EUI tested 74 and pulled back slightly. As long as support holds at 73, we will be anticipating a test of the highs at 75. The BPX broke above 63 but pulled back off of the highs. As long as 63 holds as support, we will expect a continuation higher. The AUX hit our 100 resistance level and pulled back slightly. The trend appears to be up with our next target zone sitting at 102, 103. And this has been your ISE FX Options Weekly Outlook for November 21st, 2011. As always, this is Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net reminding you to sign up for your free workshop at, at www.optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an Optionsource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.